What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy RPLAZXZ. Welcome back to another episode of our Wuthering Waves series on the channel, episode number nine. Now, I want to say quickly that I am really, really sorry for not uploading uh, episode nine, or in fact, I'm sorry for not being consistent with the uploads of this series so far. You know, uh, it's been uploaded every two days or so, but we kind of like messed up with the upload schedule, episode eight and episode nine. So I want to quickly apologize for that. And the reason is because I was having Having, like a really bad flu and also my neighbor is like doing this renovation thingy with his house so uh the construction was really really loud and i usually record these videos in the morning or afternoon because at night whenever i'm free i stream so i don't really record at night so yeah my sincere apologies for that but we're back and hopefully we will go back to our normal schedule where i upload this series every two days so yeah hopefully um we'll get back to that but anyways uh in the last episode real quick there's gonna be spoilers here so go ahead and check out the last episode real quick because i'm gonna spoil you guys of what happened in the last episode in three two one spoilers ahead but we finally did our pool on the geon's banner and ladies and gentlemen it is safe to say that we actually got geon <laughs> <laughs> we got Gian, we got Morphe, and we also got Verena. Uh, Verena was the free five star that we got um, from the uh, one pool, you know, the guaranteed five star pool. So we got her there. We got Morphe and Gian from the Gian banner. So we actually got the best team in the game possible right now. According to Google, this is the best team that you can make in the game. And I've already put a poll. Well, I, I made a mistake. I, I put a question in my community post instead of a poll. But yeah, I put a poll there uh, asking you guys if i should continue this series with the current team that we have or if we should just use this team for the rest of the series you know switch it up a little bit you know maybe along the way we can get more characters and you know we can switch the teams and whatnot in the future so by a landslide of 82 percent to 18 percent you guys have voted for geon mortify and verena so we're going to be using this team from now onwards and in the future if i decide to use other teams we will definitely do that but yeah let's go ahead and just quickly level them out to level 20 because they'll be good right they'll be good you know they're only level one so we better get destroyed here if we actually continue with this so let's go ahead and just level them up to level 20 all right so we have leveled them up and i've also swapped some weapons so for Gion, he's now currently level 20 he's max level uh we haven't changed his weapon and it's still level one because it's only three star i believe that weapon is only three star i don't know uh i i, I believe <laughs> I believe anything below purple uh, color is three star and below. So uh, whenever we get a three, uh, sorry, a four star weapon or a five star, that is when I'm going to level it up. But until then, we only have the Tyro uh, Broad blade, bro blade at the moment. So uh, Gian is going to just have to deal with it for now. And uh, I've also given him the Chase Razor Echo because this actually uh, increases the arrow damage bonus by 4.5%. So gian's arrow right here so it works with him for mortify he's level 20 right now max level uh we have got the undying flame from the pool so it is a four star weapon so i've decided to give it to him uh level 20 as well and for his echo we have gone with rose rose shroom which actually uh gives him fusion damage bonus which is absolutely perfect and last but not least verena unfortunately is only level 12 i don't have enough items to level her up yet so whenever we get those items we will level her up don't worry about it as for weapon uh it's it's only level it's only like default weapon so yeah we need to get a weapon for her as well so it's, it's we're not gonna level up anything that's not four star it, it well that's how i would do it right um and as for her echoes we gone we've gone with the horror toys and also the cruise wing uh just giving her the sonata effect of the spectro damage plus because yeah we don't have anything that well i mean stonewall bracer doesn't doesn't really do anything to help but yeah um she i mean technically these two right here does give her a uh restore hp type of thing so i'm fine with that so it's like i can summon a cruise wing to heal friendly units or i can actually summon a horde toys and slowly restore my hp so either way it works but that's that now let's get on with the story because my goodness oh we actually got some stuff from that oh 
We actually got some stuff from that. We got some trophies as well. Let me just, uh, let me just collect some stuff. Who knows? Maybe we can do some pulling, uh, in the future. Oh, by the way, we are going to be pulling on the Yinlin's banner. It is about to end within three days. So, you know, at some point, I don't know, episode 10, 11, maybe 12. I'll definitely pull Yinlin on the Yinlin's better. And hopefully we can get her. If not, hopefully we can get at least weapons for Verena and Gian. But either way, either way, uh, I believe that's that's about it. That's about it for now. I'm, wait, I'm not sure if I can level her up anymore now. No, I can't. I can't. All right. Let's continue with the story. We're heading to Kichi. Chi, 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 kichi? Is that Kichi or Chi Chi Chi? I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> there's a resonance next source right in front of us, so we are gonna be heading over there. By the way, guys, um, there is a video coming out soon. There's two videos coming out soon related with uh Wuwa, but it's not the main series, it's gonna be a challenge video. There's two challenge videos. If you guys have been keeping up with my live streams recently you guys should know what those videos are gonna be but yeah just keep an eye out because yeah i've i've started to edit the first challenge video hopefully it will come out next week um well actually yeah next week because this is gonna be out on sunday so hopefully it'll be out by next week and the other challenge video hopefully will be will be out by the next two weeks so yeah but anyways we have unlocked this next resonance beacon which means we have unlocked a bigger part of the map so that's awesome amazing but yeah this must be the place really yin yang oh Tessa Field special bonus. Each Tessa Field has a unique special buff. The Tessa Field located in the central plains period periodically generates a Concerto Energy Spear, which recovers Concerto Energy and deals AoE damage after you cast Intro Skill. That is perfect. Oh. Yo. Watch him in action. Watch him in action. She. Whoa, 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 lag, lag, hello, hello, <laughs> come down, game, come down, Gion, he's amazing, I love him, and then, yeah, Mortify is just, at the moment, his level is just way too good, way too good, way too good, yeah, apparently this is the best team you can, you can have, according to Google, um, I'm not sure if it will change once Chung Li is out, you know, and once Jin Si is out. So I'm not sure about that, but yeah, uh, there's a specific combo that you can do that I learned from Steel, my buddy Steel. Uh, if you have Mortify uh, and Gion's alt, so there's a specific thing you can do with that, but you know, we're not gonna do it yet. What is that? Okay, oh, cutscene. We got cutscene. Cut oh. Okay, guess not. I guess we have to purify this thing. Yes, sir. We purified it. Huang Long Wat Ek Three. What did you find? All right, so we gotta investigate these things right here. Investigate it. Ritualistic wooden plaques. But why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. And they seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. It's been it's been a few days since I record. Like I said, I I I'm kind of lost with the story right now. Like, what are we doing again here? Like, what? Why out of a sudden we we we're here now? Shit, man. 
Watch out. Oh shit, this guy can talk. Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? I don't know, man. It's just, I mean, it looks cute, though. Brother. Oh. Help. Help. Do we attack it or do we talk to it? I'm gonna be a bitch. Wait. It doesn't look like it's trying to attack <laughs> Of course, Yang Yang stops me. That's it. Come on now. It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Yeah, this one has been abandoned by his brother for sure. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. Wait, what? Because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new test of Discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans. So if, if it eats another test of Discord to stay alive, is basically what they're trying to say. Then why, why are they fighting us, humans? <laughs> Wait, what? That does not make any sense. Into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? Well, I mean, it's this thing. It was attacking a human. Oh my god. Yang crushes down hand on the tacit discourse head as she focuses on the stream. Sorrow feels her expression. Are you talking to it? That's beyond my ability. I just sense some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. Ooh. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying. Waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here. And the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Shuzia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? You know, shit, we're here anyways. It doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. All right, we were following Jinsi's token, and it pointed us here. Ah, right, 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 right. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. All right, dude. Suspicious Ember. Okay, so according to Yang Yang, this test of Disco right here, I, I I think eat up the whole village, but like someone commanded it to. Um. I think <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know I'm so lost with the story right now bro why is it feeding on humans now if 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 Yang Yang's saying like a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone someone was hurt and dragged away like what why is it feeding off humans if if their their whole entire survival depends on you know defeating one another frequency you get what I mean? Like, <laughs> is this what people hate Yang Yang because her 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 lines does not make any sense at all? Yo, I swear to God, man, someone better make like a lore of this game in, on Wikipedia or some shit because I have no clue what's going on. Look, there are many footprints here. These are traces left. left by a fight. Someone mm -hmm. was injured. Okay, someone's injured. So what? Are you saying someone's nearby? Ooh. I see 
teasing. The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. <laughs> the Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. The Fraxidus. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. Holy shit. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Yeah, that makes more sense now. If that tacit discord uh, was attacking human, then yeah, the Fractasis is commanding them to do so. Sound kind of cool though. Imagine you and Crown as being one. I've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower ranked members called Artificers. Art <laughs> Above the Artificers are the Overseers, leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. So there's Overseer, there's Artificers, Inside Fracticitus. Am I right? And there is one particularly insane Overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxidus standards. Fraxidus. <laughs> and destruction i've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the related cases they belong to this one overseer i'm talking about they call him scar <laughs> He's responsible for what happened to these villagers who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of yes sir who knows who knows? Investigate where the weird noises are coming from. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Huh? There's a fucking cat. Oh shit, are we like falling in love with Yang Yang? Oh! Oh shit! Introduction. Oh, I spent. Uh, so, wow, the lines just got cut off. Really, game? She's <laughs> look at him, bro. He looks so cool. Hello, Scar. My guy. All right, well, with that said, I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger because in the next episode, we're going to be talking to Scar. All right, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. I hope you guys are ready for episode number 10 because this story is about to get crazy. So, yeah, take care, everyone, and bye-bye.